welcome in everyone hopefully everyone's doing well and today I, I i did say i was gonna stream some art but that didn't happen because i'm a dummy <laughs> i'm a dummy and i didn't charge my my phone last night and and i almost forgot i had to stream today <laughs> I mean, technically I don't have to stream today, but, you know, I did say I was gonna stream today, so I do like to stick to my schedules. <laughs> Alright, Sasa Sanctuary. Uh, we are looking for one of the canine warriors in here. And we brought back Chu to her papa, <laughs> the big daddy Jumpa. <laughs> I think that's literally his name, Big Daddy Jamba. <laughs> We've been waiting for you. You did a great job finding Chun. We want to thank you too. When I told Pop about everything you did, he was really surprised. Weren't you, Pop? Chirp. Uh-oh. The boss is very impressed with you. We want to give you everything in these baskets as a reward. You can rest at the inn down below. And the hot spring behind the inn is great for relaxing. Okay, Big Daddy Jamba. <laughs> uh, can I open these? Yes, at the same time. Nice. Hell yeah. I, I love when that happens. <laughs> Although getting all of these is kind of tedious because every time I get something there's gonna be a text <laughs> and thank you for the hydrate and the head pad mm. thank you I did hydrate a little bit before starting the stream but <laughs> whenever whenever I start playing this game my my throat gets dry because because of all the text I need to read. <laughs> right. Steel Fist Sake. Base. And Exorcism Slip. Okay. Okay, let's go then. Uh, I do want to look what's, like, not look, but I want to see what's uh, in these rooms as well, because there might be something useful to me. Like a stray bead, for example. <laughs> I forgot that was here. And some food as well. Sasa cake and sasa fruit. Okay, I thought it was gonna be dumplings. What is that? There's a board game here, but it doesn't look like it's been used. Is this the fabled shogi? <laughs> no, I don't think it is. I don't know what that is. Well, I sure ended up in a funny place this time. Maybe the gods are telling me to rest. I have been working hard. Oh, it's a merchant. Okay, so we've been sent to buy something. Take a look. I sure will. I do need some... Uh, I do need to sell things. <laughs> like some treasures, for example. I did get a lot of, not a lot, but some treasures uh, while from di from Big Daddy Jumpa, so I can afford <laughs> I can afford all of these. <laughs> Big Daddy Jumpa, more like Sugar Daddy Jumpa. <laughs> oh dear lord. <laughs> uh, let's see. Ah, it is you, isn't it? You're the one who rescued Chun. I sure did. Uh, no, 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 no. I want to feed these guys. Rats! Alright. Give me my two praise. <laughs> I can afford things. I did not realize that. I will have my two ink pots. There we go. Uh, can I eat this? No. Okay. Aha! My old friend, the White Wolf. I heard there was a good inn here, so I came to take a look. And it really is a fine place, isn't it? I sure is, I guess. Can I slice? Yes. I can eat the watermelon. 
Watermelon consumed. I love the watermelon. It just it it just hits the spot in the summer. Let's see. Oh wait, other side. Uh, there's no one in here. Can I slash this? I just get ink pots from this. Oh, don't bonk the wall. Okay. I want to play the Satara. I think it's called a Satara, right? So something like that. <laughs> I might be wrong. Uh, over here. It's him! It's got to be him! Uh, who? Oh! I'm s I, I guess I'm eating all of his food! Sasa dumplings! And Sasa hodgepodge! I think- Sasa fish? I think these food items all, uh, fill up my astral pouch completely. Like, if my astral pouch was empty, it would've- These foods would fill it up completely. Instantly. Whoa, now there are full wolves serving here? Yep, this sure is a strange inn, but the food is just great. Maybe I'm dreaming. I mean, an inn run by sparrows? I... yeah, I guess. It, it is a bit... a bit bizarre. When I was just a girl, a hunter came to my aid when I was injured. I never imagined the same hunter would be staying here as a guest. I must make sure he has everything he wants. Everything! Oh, that's nice. Can I... Oh! Okay, I guess I got some money. I don't really need money. I mean, I do need money in real life. I... I guess I do need some money in game as well, cause I... I I'm kinda broke. <laughs> uh, right, over here. Alright, what's going on in here now? Excuse me, wait a minute, please! This is us a bathhouse, Sparrow Inn's famous natural hot spring. But I'm afraid the water's run out. We're closed at the moment. What do you mean there's no hot water? This is a hot spring, ain't it? Uh -oh. Welcome in, Nova. Hopefully you're doing well. It happened the other day. There was a sort of earthquake. I thought I heard a monster roar. Then the water just stopped flowing all of a sudden. Earthquake and a monster roar? Wonder if it was that disturbance where everything went black. Ever since then, I've been praying for the water to return, but it's not showing any signs of springing up again. Never before in the history of Sasa Bathhouse has this happened. I'm so sorry you come all this way only to be disappointed. I blame myself. I must beat myself with my own fried drumstick. Hey, cut that out! We hate taking baths anyway. I mean, yeah, kind of. <laughs> Hi, hi, Nova. <laughs> Please, start again. I prayed and prayed and prayed, but the water still won't blow. Blow? Not, not blow, flow. <laughs> this is it, the end of Sasa bathhouse. It's dried up now. What would my ancestors think? Beating myself with my own frying drumsticks, drumsticks will be a fitting end. I already told you, we don't take baths. Right, Verbal? Blow. <laughs> oh, the smell of this bamboo sure brings back memories. The bamboo from Sasa Sanctuary smells like no other. I can't wait to get started making my bamboo wear. I must finish in time for the festival. Hey, it's the old bamboo dude. Oh, hello, Wolfie. Little sprite. Thank you for all your help. Ever since you found the Sparrow Boss's missing daughter, entry to Sasa Sanctuary is possible again. I wish I could thank you somehow. Is there something you're having trouble with? Trouble? Nah. But that Sparrow over there seems to have a problem. Oh, what's wrong, little Sparrow? Please, leave me alone. I have to put things right. I won't set a bad example for the others. If I sacrifice my flesh to the gods, they will revive the spring. Ah, yes, truly a cult experience. <laughs> Here we go again. You wish to revive this dried up hot spring? I may be of some assistance in that case. W what was that? 
This bamboo tube on my back reacts to, reacts to underground minerals. I should be able to easily detect where the hot spring water is. You sure about that, Gramps? Yep, my bamboo wear never lies. J just like Shakira's hips. <laughs> they never lie. <laughs> First, I'll need some help. Now be a good wolfie and dig me a hole. It'll be fun, like a game. Uh, yes, I guess I'll help you out. Thank you, both of you. Very well, I'll explain the hot spring digging game. When the game begins, I'll start walking around. Your job is to rapidly dig so I can get deep in the ground. But be careful, many dangers lurk on underground. I'll focus on walking so I won't be able to avoid danger. And if I get hurt too badly, I won't be able to play anymore. But if I'm able to get deep underground, I'll show you where the hot spring water will bubble up. Shall I explain it again? No, no, I'm fine. Very well, let the hot spring digging game begin. I kind of like digging games. They're kind of fun, but also oops, they tend to be uh, frustrating for beginners, I guess. <laughs> uh, giant buds. Okay, I remember things almost clearly. Clearly. Uh, let me get more time. Okay. Dig, dig, dig. Uh, do that. Dig, dig, dig. Okay, so not that way. Let's go this way. I left. I left. Ma ma I left Mr. Bamboo in the dust. Kind of, sort of. Uh, I do want to wait for him to fall down so I can wait. Actually, let me do that. Go. Okay. Uh, if I draw a circle around him, he's gonna start going faster. So let's do that. Okay. Can you please run faster? Faster. There we go. Aha! Nice. That was quick. <laughs> that was quick and easy. There are some more complicated digging games out there, so don't think every single one of them is gonna be easy. <laughs> water! Water! The water's flowing again! See? I told you, my bamboo wear never lies. Well done, Amy! Thank you, both of you! I'll never forget this! You both have free access to the bathhouse whenever you want. Nah, <laughs> not a great reward. Oh, I'll dance the hot spring hop forevermore. He's so cute, <laughs> look at him. Look, Amy! It's happening again! Oh, is it another constellation? <laughs> it is indeed! And this one seems to be a bottle. Oh, uh, I missed that one. Oh, never mind, it counts! <laughs> that counts for some reason. It's a snake in a bottle. <laughs> snake. A danger noodle. <laughs> ah, Amaterasu, origin of all that is good and mother to us all. I have remained hidden here, creeping along the water surface. I, Nuregami, god of water, am happy to bestow upon you my power. Moisten the thirsty earth and restore the glory of nature. How many people out there hate the world? Uh, hate the word moist. <laughs> I'm honestly, I'm indifferent to it, but I know some people absolutely hate it. Nuragami! Oh, that's the god of water. That must mean you got the water spout brush technique. Ouch! Hot, hot, hot! Fire! I'm on fire! 
No, the fried drumsticks were a bad idea! Lucky for you, Amy needs some practice. Amy, try to put out that fire with the power of water spout. Water spout is a brush technique that harnesses the power of water. Place your brush over water and then draw a line. The water spout will pass into the line, creating a stream. But enough talk, you'd better try it before he becomes a crispy critter. Put your brush on that hot spring and draw a line to the sparrow. I don't mind moist, but I know a lot of people who don't. Yeah, same. <laughs> I don't mind it that much. I did have a classmate that absolutely hated that word. <laughs> Excellent. No fried sparrow for you, but at least you can make a stream. But the power of water spout doesn't stop there. See that bubbling water in the middle of the hot spring? That's called a power spring. Water power is concentrated there. If you draw a line straight up from that bubbling water, I bet you can create an amazing column of water. Straight up. That's what I'm talking about! Now you can control power springs! Hey, I didn't know you could do that! Maybe we could use this to find treasure in high places. Let's draw a water column whenever we see a power spring. Hehe, <laughs> moist. <laughs> and we have a clover. It's not a moist clover, but it's a dry clover that's gonna that gives me praise. <laughs> I like that. Hehe. <laughs> <laughs> And right now, let's do that. Look. Alrighty then. The gates are open. And from this map, the circle is right there, which means the do the canine warrior that we need to find is right there as well. Alright. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? I kind of forgot to uh, research about uh, the lore of canine warriors. Like, why, why did the... Why did the human warriors turn into into dogs? In Japanese mythology, I mean. What happened to them? Oh, hello. Tweet, tweet. Whoa, get a lot of tweety here. Hey, what's with all the chirping, kid? Don't call me kid. I have a name, you know. It's Tai. And I'm not chirping, I'm crying. Tweet, tweet. Cry baby tie. <laughs> oh, you're crying. So what's with that freaky cry of yours? Taki is lost. He disappeared while we were out for a walk. Tweet tweet. Who's Taki? Is he a friend of yours? He's my dog. I lost my dog. Tweet tweet. Oh. Whoa, the canine tracker suddenly appeared. That must mean... Mm-hmm. That must mean that Take is probably one of the canine warriors that we're looking for. Ah, uh, tigers! Let me feed the tigers first. Take can wait. He's, he's fine. He's completely fine. Tigers are priority. <laughs> Look at them, tigers. I love them. They're so pretty. <laughs> Hmm? You see what I see, Amy? Unless I'm hallucinating or something, that bamboo over there looks like it's flashing. Maybe we'll find something interesting inside if we cut it down. I did not consent to the bamboo flashing me. But I guess that's what I got. Oh, welcome in, Himan! <laughs> because they insulted a great saint once. The saint was a very powerful mage named Bob, and he cursed the human race and he converted them to dogs, which he considered the lowest form of life. Oh! Is... was he named Bob? I don't think that... that that's really accurate. <laughs> but thank you. 
I will I will trust the rest the rest of the lore until proven otherwise. Welcome in, Himan. Hopefully you're doing well. It's based is based on Nansa Satomi Hakenden. The little Hakenden has been translated as the Eight Dog Chronicles. Okay. Yeah, I know it's based on a on a story of some sort. I didn't know it was uh, Japanese mythology or I know it was Japanese something. <laughs> Thank you, Pigment. Pinko. What's the dog doing? Hey, uh, doing in there? What the dog doing? Tweet? T Take! Take's back! Take? <laughs> What's wrong, boy? Why are you growling? Tweet? Wait a minute. Was it this white wolf who spirited you away? Oh, give me a break. Nya! <laughs> hey, wait! I think this flea bag's trying to say something. Hmm? White wolf. What right do you have to bear the canine tracker? Fight me and prove that you are worthy. Thank you for the hydrate and stretch. Alright, give me a second to stretch. Ooh, okay. <clears throat> in the game development, there were humans... It, they were humans. Then mid-development, they made them dogs. Oh, right! I do remember that. Now that you mention it, I do remember that. And each name is based on the virtue of con Confucian. Con I I can't pronounce that word. <laughs> Confucian. I don't know. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> that thing. <laughs> but yeah, I, I know that it's based on a on a ver on a virtue, and I I do know that, but I completely forgot forgot about that uh, until you mention it. Thank you for that. <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't know which dog presents which virtue, so we're just gonna have to ride along. <laughs> canine warrior Gi. You hear that, Amy? This must be one of the canine warriors. That canine tracker really set him off. What will it be, Amy? Pick a fight? Yes. Don't hold back, I will not. Hello there. You're pretty. I like you. <laughs> oh shit. Oh oh god. Okay. There yeah, he's fast. I forgot how pa how fast this guy is. Okay. Oh wait, I guess I can uh I can switch my weapons a little bit. I used the star snarling beast last time. I can use the infinity judge right now. I love how this weapon looks. It's so pretty. Look at it. I mean, don't don't look at it while I'm using it, but like when I'm not using it, it just kind of falls apart. It's so pretty. Okay, fo focus on the fight. <laughs> oh shit. Nope. Can I use a bomb? It's not going to do anything. I mean, it did damage him a little bit, I guess. Oh shit. Okay. Nope. Come on! Oh my god! Dude, yeah, shit! Okay. Alright. Hey, there we go! Nice. Finally. What the dog doing? Cut it out! Leave him alone! I won't allow you to bully Take like that. Keep it up and I'll clobber you. Wait a sec, Tweety, we're not bullying anybody. Right, your flea bag? Come on, say something! I know Princess Fuse summons me. It is my duty to, to defeat Crimson Helm, defiler of the Gale Shrine. But I cannot return. This place is in grave danger. The monsters will overrun Sasa Sanctuary without me. And the Sparrow Tribe, they would all be... Oh, what shall I do? You obtained duty orb. I guess uh, Gi represents duty. What's this? 
The power orb has chosen you. I need worry no longer. I shall remain here and battle the monsters for the Sparrow tribe. Even separated, the hearts of the Canaan warriors beat as one. Huh? Hey, wait a second! Ah, uh, yep, we will turn back. <laughs> We're done here, Isun. <laughs> what else do you want? Wabbits! I want to feed wabbits, that's what I want. Okay, uh, it is nighttime, right? No, it's not. Uh, I thought it was nighttime, okay. Because there is. There are some treasure chests in this area, as far as I remember. I think. I think there there's a treasure chest or something. Uh, wait, let me check one more time. I thought there was a treasure chest right here. Maybe I'm misremembering. Well, never mind. I think I'm gonna get a... Uh, what's it called? The power to turn day into night very soon, so... Yeah. And by very soon, I mean very, very, very extremely soon. <laughs> But yeah, we found one of the- oh! Ah, what a fabulous hot spring! Wolfie, I heard a ruckus from afar, but why don't you wash off all that grime with the hot spring? H hot spring? I think we'll pass. Anyway, isn't it about time you started looking for bamboo? Oh, you're right! The festival is just around the corner! It falls on the night of the full moon! The night of the full moon? Yep, Kamiki Village holds the Kamiki Festival on the night of the full moon during this time of year. You've heard the legend of how the great heroes Nagi and Shiranui defeated the terrible beast with the help of the gods, haven't you? That's why the village pays homage to the gods and the sacred tree. This year is the 100th anniversary of the beast's defeat. I'd better finish that bamboo where I want to sell at the festival. Hot dog, I just love festivals! <laughs> We gotta remember to go back to Kamiki Village on that day! Oh, and by the way, Wolfie, I'd like to give you a little something to thank you for your help in the hot spring digging game. It isn't much, but you may find it useful. Here you go. A mermaid coin! We heard some ba something about mermaid coin. Thanks, Gramps! Whoa, that's some grubby pocket change! Pocket change. There are many small springs known as mermaid springs across Nippon. They say you can pass between them by tossing in one of those coins. If true, you could travel across Nippon in the blink of an eye. Really? Those are some wicked coins! They must be extremely valuable. No, not really. You can even buy them at stores around here. I only kept it because it was kind of cute. I don't have much, so you'll have to excuse me. Uh, I mean, I'm fine with that, I don't need it really, but you know. It's almost festival season, the full moon will soon rise. It's been exactly 100 years since that beast was slain, but I always think of Kaguya when I, when I talk about the moon. Oh, how she used to love gazing up at the moon. <sighs> there I go again, reminiscing about the past. I'll end up in the poorhouse if I don't finish my bamboo wear soon. I Yeah, you should probably start on that. <laughs> He did mention Kaguya, and if you're fami familiar with the myth with the lore, not lore, the mythology, <laughs> you know who she is. Okay, with that out of the way, I do want to go back to Agatha Forest, actually. Kaguya the Volcano Girl, that's the one! <laughs> that's the one! <laughs> Welcome in, Login, hopefully you're doing well. Uh, let's see... Oh! There we go. I don't think I can do anything with the water spout in this area. So, I'll just add... Head straight to Agatha Forest for now. Uh, this way. 
I don't want to save, so I'll just I'll just run. Wait, I have the pinwheel, I think. Oh, isn't that one of the famous Kusa pinwheels? My wife asked me to get her one of those, but I've been too scared to go near the place. I don't suppose you'd be able to give me that one, would you? Give him the give him a pinwheel? Yes. Thanks, Pooch. You saved my life. Now I don't have to worry about my wife giving me a wallop. And I got some praise! Heck yeah! I love me some praise. <laughs> I still haven't looked into those praise... Uh, praise emotes for BTTV. <laughs> I keep forgetting about that, honestly. Okay. Hello. Oh, it's you again. Hey, have you seen my dog, Ume? He's always with me when I'm fishing. He disappeared while I wasn't looking. You don't think he could have fallen into the deep abyss, do you? Oh? The water in the deep abyss has always been a bit murky, but today you can barely see into it and the surface is all ripply. My fisherman's intuition tells me the legendary fish has awoken. People call it Whopper. They say it swallowed the moon reflected on the on the water surface. You don't think Whopper swallowed swallowed up Ume too, do you? Well, I can't find him alone. Maybe I'll go talk to that lady who's visiting Hitoshi Spring. Hmm, someone who's visiting Hitoshi Spring. And the game doesn't explicitly tell you unless you're reading the signs along the road, but this is Hitoshi Spring. And who's this? Why, it's Kushi! Hmm, the water here is so lovely and cool. Now, time to get to work. Here's a barrel. Hmm? Why, looky here, it's Kushi! What you up to here, sweetie? Oh, it's you, Snowy and Isun! I'm here making preparations for the annual Kamiki festival. I've come to get water for the holy sake we offer to the gods. People say that the water here at Hitoshi Spring has divine powers. We always mix it with the holy sake we use for the festival. That way we can make eight purification sake. Whoa, hold it right there, sister! Eight purification sake? You mean the sacred drink, sacred drink of ancient legend? That's right! It goes back to the legend of Nagin Chiranui. It was the miraculous sake that used to, they used to defeat Orochi. Apparently, they got the beast drunk and cut off its head. It certainly smells strong enough to intoxicate anything. Gulp. I don't know if the legend's really true or not, but we offer sake to the gods at festival time and pray for peace. By the way, sweetie, I was wondering, you plan on filling this barrel with water? That's right, we need to, we need enough for all of the villagers, so I have to fill this barrel to the brim. But how are you gonna fill such a big barrel with water? And even if you can, how are you gonna carry it back to the village? Hmm? That's a good point. I hadn't thought of that because Susan usually takes care of it. He can handle the barrel barrel as if it was as light as a feather. There's no way I can manage on my own, though. How silly of me not to think this through. I wonder how I'm going to get the spring water into the barrel. Silly girl. Silly girl indeed, but we can help her out. That's odd. How did the water get into the barrel all by itself? And one more time. And one more time. There we go. My question is, how did she drag an empty barrel all the way here? Because that that thing w must weigh must weigh like a lot, <laughs> a lot. And she's a ti well, she's not tiny, but like. She doesn't look that strong, but I might be wrong. I might I might be in completely in the wrong here. She might be stronger than she looks. Yay! How wonderful! The barrel's full of spring water already. This will be plenty for the holy sake for the festival. Excellent! Now we just have to get it back to the village. Carry it home? 
But it must be a ton! Oh! What is it? D do you want some of the spring water? S sorry, I'll be getting this barrel out of your way so soon. Back, you beast. Here I am, just taking a walk, and look what I run into! Oh, it's you! Susano? T take one more step towards the lady and it'll b b be your last! Great Susano, descendant of the hero Nagi, f -f forbids it! D -d Do not despair, my fair Kushi! Susano is here to s save the, the, the day! Uh oh, this looks bad! I, I swing my sword in the name of love! Susano style sword of passion! H here I go! You! Leap! My! Cushy! Oh, nope, the wrong power, there we go. Alone! Huh? Susano, watch out! You did it, Pops! That was amazing! You looked kinda scared at first, but you pulled it off for for the lady! Yeah, you, you should probably shut up. Susano. Um, th thank you. I didn't expect to see such ferocious monsters here. Are you hurt? Susano? I knew it. I knew it all along. Strange things have been happening ever since then. First that boulder in Kamiki, then that battle with the bear. And now this. My sword is possessed by a strange power. You listen to me, O oh spirit who defiles my sword. I shall not be controlled like some puppet. By the gods, I shall expose your nefarious scheme. Thank you for the follow, I appreciate it! I'm glad you're enjoying the stream. Crows, wolf spit! The magnificent Isun takes offense. Why, Ayada? Hmm? Where's Susano? Where did he go running off to? He left without saying a word. What was he thinking? I mean, he just won the battle. Now it's time to win the damsel's heart. At least he could have stuck around to help carry the barrel. It's okay. I think he's busy with other things. There's no need to bother him with this. I'm sure I can manage on my own from here anyway. Oh? I think I know this sound. That sounded like that Kokari kid. Ah, exactly my thoughts. Is he in trouble again? We better go check it out, Amy! But what about Kushi? He... Sh not he, she! <laughs> she needs help carrying the barrel! Whoa, the canine tracker suddenly appeared! So that means... Mm. Uh... Are you... I'm... I, I really hope she's gonna be okay. Oh, it's nighttime. Should I turn it back to daytime? I probably should. Let me actually see if I can do this in nighttime as well. Because I've never done this in. I never had. I don't think I've ever had this happen. Where it, like, suddenly turned into nighttime. I think I can do this in at nighttime as well. 
Fucker! Wow! Looks like you got a big one there, kid! With all that noise you were making, I was sure the monsters... Now that's a huge one! Oh, it's Ume! Ume! Shoot! My line snapped! Curse you, Whopper! I'm gonna catch you! You're gonna pay for what you did to Ume! Alright? Hey, kid! Where did Humongous Fish come from? And wasn't that your dog Ume in its mouth? That was the legendary fish, Whopper. They say it's while the moon reflected on the water's surface. So it really does live in these deep, murky waters. Well, it's gonna pay for gobbling up a good old Ume. Sheesh, that dog sure gets eaten a lot, doesn't he? I don't have any fishing line left, but I'll snag that Whopper yet. This shall be a battle to avenge Ume. Hey, Amy, this is getting more interesting by the minute. That Whopper, whatever it's called, or whatever it's called, would be quite a catch. Let's stick around and see if we can help him catch it. Help catch you, bet! Now that's what I wanted to hear. Let's get psyched up! Let's do that. Now that I think about 100% uh, completion, <laughs> uh, fish fishing up every single fish in this game is gonna be a pain. <laughs> Okay, Amy, you got the basic idea, right? Draw a line from the tip of the pole to Whopper. Don't let this this be the big one that got away. I honestly no big fish got away from me. Mostly because I don't fish. <laughs> I got a bite. All right. Oh. For a moment there, I forgot I forgot how to fish. <laughs> you caught crawfish. Not really a fish, but, you know, it's a crustacean. <laughs> you heard of Elf on the Shelf, right? Now get ready for a crustacean on a bus station! <laughs> oh, I hate myself. <laughs> I will not apo- I repu- I refuse to apologize. <laughs> hey, Goldie, welcome in just in time. <laughs> I get. I guess Goldie enjoyed that that pun. Thank you, thank you for the resub. I appreciate it. Hopefully, you're doing well. <laughs> See, Goldie appreciates my puns. <laughs> I knew I could do it! I finally caught Whopper! <laughs> and here I was so worried about you, kid. You're one fine fisherman. You should be proud of yourself. Just got up, nice! Hopefully your the rest of your day goes well. J just as well, just as well as your morning. Hopefully your morning is going well. <laughs> good morning, hopefully you have something good to eat. <laughs> Keep on fishing and make sure to bring along plenty of line. How could I ever fish again? I mean, what about Ume? He's never coming back. Oh boy, the crybaby's back. I e soon, his dog probably just died. Please. Don't worry. After all, you hmm? Look! The surface of Deep Abyss is as bright and shiny as a mirror. The moon's reflection sure looks beautiful. Hmm? Where's the moon? How come I can only see its reflection? Oh? What about the stars? Can you see the stars? <laughs> because I sure can! <laughs> I... yeah, there we go. 
Hey, look! Another constellation! And it's a wabbit! It's a bonking wabbit! If you take a look at my emotes, you, you'll be able to recognize it! No drawling on the job! <laughs> Amaterasu, origin of all that is good and mother to us all. After your departure, I hid myself within the moon's reflection. Consumed by a fish, I patiently awaited this day in its belly. Now that a glimmer of hope has returned, I have, I have returned. I, Yumigami, god of the moon, covered the earth in pale moonlight. Use this light in conjunction with your own on your perilous journey. Heck yeah, finally! <laughs> Yumigami, the god of moon power! So Wappa really did swallow up the moon reflected on the water. Now you have the crescent brush technique. That one lets you draw a crescent moon in the sky. It's said to have the power to turn day into night. Wonder if it really works? Could drawing a, cur could drawing a curved line in the sky really bring out the moon? Uh, we can find that out, it sure does, apparently! The moon, the moon, it's come out! Now you have the power to turn day into night! Hehehe, <laughs> think of the nighttime pleasures that await. I... I, I will not. <laughs> Please stop. I know that sounds tempting, but first things first. We still have that mad of Princess Puseyas to, to deal with. Speaking of which... Hey! I, it's Ume! He came out of Whopper's mouth! You okay, boy? I knew it would spit Ume out. That's why I told you not to worry. I mean, just look at him. He looks like one nasty tasting cani canine. Really? Yeah! Never seen an uglier looking dog in my life. What? I say something wrong? Just trying to have a little fun like you do with Verbal here. White Wolf, how did you come to bear the canine tracker? Hmm? There's a familiar scent in the air. My former comrades. It emanates from your body. What the? Well, it's none of your business how we smell. It's just that we don't like taking bats, that's all. Hey, wait. Did he just say something about the canine tracker? The canine tracker decrees that its bearer shall prove his strength. I shall be the one to test it. Canine Warrior Jin. What the? You're one of the eight canine warriors? Amy, this dog means business. Pick a fight, I... I... I we have to. <laughs> Never thought we'd be going up against you. Bring it on, Snaggletooth. Heck yeah, okay. Uh, this dog really does mean business, by the way. Okay, nope. He poops! <laughs> and the poop explodes. Okay, no, 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 no. Okay, I need to take care not to fall into that hole, because that's gonna be a problem. Oh, no problem, never mind. I can go into... Oh, the hole disappeared! No! <laughs> I kind of want to fall into that hole. Oh, well. I know Princess Fusei summons me. It is my duty to defeat Crimson Helm, defiler of Gale Shrine. But this child and his father saved me from certain death. I owe my life to them. What am I to do? You obtained just justice orb. What's this? 
The power orb has chosen you. I don't need to worry anymore. Even separated, the hearts of the Kanan warriors beat as one. I shall spend the rest of my years here under the guise of Ume. What? You're not going back to the princess? After all we went through? Ah, uh, I mean... He, he's got some things to do, you know? We should just leave him be. Okay. After that, I wanna go back to Hitoshi Spring. See if Kushi's gone from there. I think she is. Yeah, she managed to drag that barrel, it seems. Uh, but I think we're, we're, we're going to see her soon enough. Because our next destination is Kamiki Village. Oh, look who's here! Heave ho! Heave ho! Phew! Still got a way to go. It's taken ages just to get get this far. How'd you carry that this far? And how are you gonna carry it the rest of the rest of the way to the village? Don't worry about that. I might not look it, but I'm quite tough. I can see that. <laughs> Brewing sake is my life. If I can't manage on my own, where will I be? Wow, I underestimated you. I'll keep my mouth shut from, from now on. Well, thanks for coming to see me anyway. Here's a little something for your trouble. Oh, she gives you a bone! Nice! I... I completely forgot about that. <laughs> yeah, fair point. We can't really carry all that. We are a weak wolf compared to you, Kushi. <laughs> Just a weak canine. <laughs> Alright, back to... Kamiki Village. <laughs> I did not forget the name of the village. And you cannot prove me wrong. Oh, we go. Alright, it's kind of silent over here. Oh, never mind, there's the music. <laughs> oh! Whoa, the K9 tracker suddenly appeared. So that means... So that means... Oh, it's the new king of hole digging! Hey, what's eating you, kid? Hayabusa stopped listening to me all of a sudden. He just sits there like that all day and night. He won't even try digging up turnips, no matter what I say. He'll never be able to regain the crown of hole digging king. Well, forget him. I don't need a lazy, disobedient dog like him. Oh, that's kind of tough. I, I feel sorry for Hayabusa, <laughs> kind of. How long are you planning to just sit there? You remind me of a certain statue I saw somewhere. Is that the canine tracker? Have you come to take me back to my master? You hear that, Amy? You must be on an errand from P Princess Puse if you bear that. But I, I shall not move from here, for the festival will begin soon. Canine warrior Chu. You gotta be kidding me! You're one of the Satomi Kanan warriors? And you're ignoring the princess's summons to wait for the festival? Come back here tonight. We need to have a man-to-man -man talk. Man-to-man -man talk? Don't you mean dog to wolf? I mean they're both dogs in a in a way, in a sense. So <laughs> dog to dog. <laughs> you bear the canine tracker, so you must know what it decrees. Men settle their differences at night. Man to man, fist to fist. Man to man, fist to fist? Don't you mean dog to wolf, paw to paw? You gonna let this punk talk to you like that, Amy? I'm picking a fight, I... Uh, yeah, no. <laughs> you really can't say no to a fight, can you? 
Let's show what it means to be the new hole digging king. Bring it on, furball. Alright. Nope. Oh shit. Oh, he's fast. Oh, he's fast. Okay. Alright. Nope. Uh, if I remember correctly, he digs uh, holes more often than Ume did, so I need to be careful not to fall down. Come on, bring it! No, 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 no. No, don't bring it. Okay. Can you fall down your own holes, please? Alright. Nice! Hell yeah! Also, ads are going to star, but I'm going to snooze them because there's gonna be more lore, so... And I don't want anyone to miss the lore. Okay, you got some explaining to do, ya doggy. Why are you ignoring the princess's summons to wait for the festival? I am not the real Hayabusa. The real Hayabusa died along with Mushi's father when they were attacked by monsters deep in the forest. I happened to pass by about that time, but I was too late. Right before Hayabusa died, he begged me to protect Mushi. He foretold the coming of an e evil arrow from the sky, an arrow that would kill Mushi on the night of the full moon. That is how I came to live here in, the, in this village. I have been waiting for the full moon of the festival season. Nobody noticed I was not the real Hayabusa as we are the same breed. The night of the full moon draws near, I shall not move from here. My duty is to fill, fulfill Hayabusa's dying wish, I must protect Mushi. And we got the loyalty orb. We got a Satomi power orb, Amy. What was all that he said Hayabusa foretold? Something or other about an arrow that would kill Mushi. That's not a very happy story for such a festive season. I hope it's not related to that legend about Orochi and the arrow. Hey, Amy, looks like we found the three Satomi power orbs that the, that the canine warriors had. Hmm, I know we promised to bring the dogs back, but... Well, at least we can bring pr Princess Pusei the power orbs. But I wonder... You think they can handle Crimson Helm over at the, at the Gale Shrine? I'm sure they can. I'm sure we'll be fine. Okay, now we're so Wait. I did not feed those rabbits. Oh my lord, I am a terrible god. <laughs> Okay, I can run the, the ads now, because I will run to... to the Gale Shrine uh, on my four little paws <laughs> manually while the ads are running, so I'll see you back there. <laughs> I'll not go on a break, though. But if you're not subbed, I'll, 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 see, you, I'll see you back at the Gale Shrine. <laughs> Okay, let's see. I wonder if I can do something with the uh, water spout on Shinshu Field. I don't think I can. I might actually. Hold on. I actually might. Hold on. Oh, wait, this guy! I almost forgot about him. Hi! You, I'm firing on all cylinders again today. So, what you want? What's with the twinkle in your eye, Pooch? You wanna race? Okay, Lightning Ida, I'll give you a run for your money. Ready? Go! Alright, let's go then. I don't like racing him in nighttime though, because there's too many monster scrolls. Phew, you caught up with me already? I never have guessed it, but you're a real sprinter, Pooch. That's one point for you. <laughs> Alright, uh, let's see if he wants to race me again. Uh, if I turn it nighttime. 
Okay, nothing. What about daytime again? That was a poor circle. <laughs> Very poorly drawn circle. Okay, no, he does not want to race me again. Gonna polish up these golden feet of mine. Okay, I did remember I I can indeed do something else. And it wasn't this, <laughs> but I accidentally saw it. Alright. Exorcism slip. Uh, the thing I wanted to do was... Over here, next to the entrance to Hana Valley. Right where that... Thought Bubble is. This is the life, huh? It's great to be clutching my axe again. See this kiln, friend? It disappeared when the curse struck. My workshop is my pride and joy. I'm stoked to have it back. I'm actually an artist communing with nature in a deep level, man. I can hardly wait to start firing up some pots again. Earthenware's like a mirror into the soul, man. Whatever mood you're in, good or bad, it all comes out in the pots. Check this out, I just finished firing my first piece. First vase, the a a Azure Neck. I love flowers. Single flower vases are my specialty. You can have it if you like it. Alright. I will indeed have it. And what I can do with it... Uh, where was that? I think it was over here. Yeah, over there. There we go. I can give it as an offering. And get some... Uh, what's it called? Praise, right! <laughs> get some praise from it. <laughs> Alright, I want to check if that guy has any more pots. Also, welcome back from the ads. While you were in ad hell, I raced this guy. <laughs> There's gonna be more races, no, don't worry about it, so... You didn't really miss that much. Okay, let's make it night time. And then daytime. Right? He does have more pots. Still looking after that first vase I gave you, buddy. I've come up with one that's even better. Check it out, man. My second vase, the indigo neck. My potter's intuition is starting to come back to me, man. You can have it if you like it. Right? I will indeed have it. I think there's one of those statues over here. Yep, I see it. Nice, nice. Right? I think I should be able to get one more vase. Uh, let's do the same thing as before. And daytime. Alright. Nice. The white connoisseur returns. Don't worry, just a nickname I cooked up for you, man. Look, I just finished my third piece. My third vase, the rust neck. See that sober shading? An expert like you knows what it means, huh? We're two of a kind, you and me. Here, take it. Alright, I will gladly take it. And... I think... There's another statue by those horses on that curvy hill up there. Uh, right, yep, right here, along this path. Nice, more praise. And I think... He's either gonna give me one more, one last one for now, or that's it for now. I'm not entirely sure, but let me check. Uh, let's make it nighttime. 
And then let's make it daytime. Alright, that's it. That's it for now. You pestering me for another already, white connoisseur? You can't trust genius. My work takes careful planning, man. I, I'm sorry, you're right. You can't rush an artist. <laughs> He's completely right. Okay, with that, I am going back to... The... What was it? Kusa Village, right. Kusa Village. I kept thinking about uh, Taka Pass, but it's not Taka Pass. I mean, Kusa Village is on Taka Pass, but... It's not really Taka Pass. <laughs> And I could absolutely fast travel there, but why fast travel when you can just, you know, stop and smell the roses? <laughs> Except there, there's no roses in this game. Right? Uh, okay... One more. There we go. Right, nice. Okay, the bear is here. He's still happy and dancing. I think this is the best sphere he ever got so far. He's not even sleeping. Sleepy Bear name does not fit him anymore. He's not a sleepy bear, he's a happy dancing bear. <laughs> okay. Wait, how many demon fangs do I have? Can I purchase something else? Uh, lots of monsters, yep. Let's see. Oh, I still need... I need one more fang for a gold, golden lucky cat. Should I do the... Uh, sure, I should... I, I can... I can get one demon fang. Easy peasy. Yep, easy peasy. <laughs> and then defeat these fish guys. Nope. Nice. Easy. Way too easy. Right? Gib. Gib the golden lucky cat. Uh, not the travel's charm. There we go. Nice. Hell yeah. Uh, equipment... Draws money and other valuables near. I love that. Gib. Gib. <laughs> uh, I keep messing up my jump and... Bark button. Alright! Uh, do you need... Right, I think you needed the golden teapot. Teapot? Teacup! Golden teacup. And I did get her the golden teacup from those moles. Alright, back to Kusa village we go. Bark, bark, Bjork. Man, I love the music in this game. So pretty. Oh, come on. Uh, 
Nice. All right, let's see now. Uh, whoop, over here. All right. And I think she's inside. Or rather, they are inside. The priestess together with her dogs. And there's three spots empty! Oh. Why, it's my favorite wolf and bug! Enough with the bug thing already! I must speak to you about the three remaining canine warriors. I'm sensing something different about them. Do you bring no word of their condition or whereabouts? Well, um, about that. We did find the other three, but, um, you found them? Well, yeah, it's kind of a long story, but I'm afraid they won't be coming back. Instead, they gave us the Satomi power orbs. I see. Well, I did sense that the Canaan warriors had changed in some way. Maybe they had a fateful encounter during their journey. Perhaps strong bonds that cannot be broken have been forged. If they are to live apart from the Satomi house, I have but one wish. I would wish them to protect the peace under their new master, for that is the role they were meant to fulfill. Well, at any rate, all the Satomi power orbs have been returned. Now I can break Crimson, Hel Crimson Helm's barrier. I must get to the shrine. Or not. Whoa, check it out! The power orbs are spinning around us! How could this be? Have the power orbs accepted you as their new master? Master? What are you talking about, lady? One does not choose to take the, the orbs, they choose their master. Oh, magnificent power orbs, heirlooms of the Satomi House. Are these whom you have chosen to decide the Satomi House's fate? Indeed they are, apparently. Because we are the god. <laughs> I do need to hydrate as well. Alright, that's better. Let's see, I think there should be- oh, wait! There should be a treasure chest! <laughs> Incense burner, nice. I was actually not expecting that treasure chest to be here. But I was expecting these monkeys over here. Alright. Let's see. And this over here. Come on. I honestly I kind of don't like spamming the button to to dig up something on this Joy-Con because whenever I try to do that my hand just kind of cramps in a sort of a weird non-painful way. <laughs> it's just kind of uncomfortable, I guess. <laughs> oh, hello. Susano style sleeping monk hidden sake. What the? Well, looky here! It's Usano again! Crumble, crumble. Oh, spirit who defiles my sword. I am closer than ever. Here at the Gale Shrine, where the beast makes its lair, your true form shall be revealed. This cursed barrier may bar my way, but if I pray long and hard, I shall eventually find a way in. Mumble, mumble. Grumble, grumble. The lazy bomb's talking in his sleep. I. Yeah, I guess he is. No, no, not that! By the gods, I want to, mumble. You won't ever, mumble, mumble. I thought he was just talking in his sleep, but he seems rather frantic. It'd be funny if it weren't so sad. 
I, I don't think it would be funny. I don't find this funny <laughs> at all. Hey, what's with this guy? I can see right through him. Hmm? Who are you? How is it you can see me? I'm Yatsu, the, the, earthbound the earthbound spirit who haunts this area. Long has it been since any have ven ventured this way. Earthbound spirit Yatsu. My eyes have failed me. I can no longer see. In their stead, my inner eye can judge a person's true form. You appear to be a maiden most fair. What could possibly bring you to the Gale Shrine? You must leave this place, for it is no longer a shrine of the gods. It is now cursed and under the control of a horrible creature. This is no place for a fair maiden such as you. Fair maiden? He talking about you, Furball? That's the funniest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> What's this? It appears the maiden is accompanied by a little booger. Is the village to meet its end at last? Little booger? He better not be talking about me. Hardly anyone has visited the Gale Shrine since it has been cursed. The strangely frenzied man over there is one of the few. He has been meditating alone at the shrine's entrance, but his sleep is filled with nightmares that make him cry out. I pity the poor man and would like to render what service I could, but when I try to peer into his dreams, an evil force bars my way. Who is this strange man? Come to think of it, Susanna said something about being possessed, and he's been acting all weird, like that time he helped Kushi. What's this? I sense an intense power. It envelops your body. Could it be the Satomi power orbs? Fair maiden, the orbs would only choose the one who is our savior. The eight colors of light are living proof of that. Very well, you may pass, O savior of the Satomi house. Go! Beware, fair maiden. Crimson Hel Helm is a terrible foe. It is said that when the Eight-Headed Serpent was slain 100 years ago, Crimson Helm emerged from a pool of the beast's blood. Never let your guard down. Oh, welcome in, Raven! Thank you for the hydrate and stretch! Susan, who can wait! <laughs> and stretch! Oh god, Jesus. Welcome in, hopefully you're doing well. Hopefully work is going well. Wait, wait, wait! The door to the Gale Shrine has opened? I must have finally communed with the gods. The time has come, foul spirit. Now I shall reveal your true form. I'm here to run from my work responsibilities. <laughs> hopefully it's going well. <laughs> No, Pops, wait! And Pops is gone. <laughs> is not life dear to that man? Beware, fair maiden. Crimson Helm is a terrible foe. It is said that when the, when the eight-headed serpent was slain 100 years ago, Crimson Helm emerged from a pool of the beast's blood. Never let your guard down. Okay, we get it already. Now stop trying to freak us out. I mean, that's kind of his job to, to, to freak us out and like... Try to... Try to do something. It's going... <laughs> well, hopefully it's going in the right direction. <laughs> and if not, hopefully it goes in the right direction either soon or if not, if not today, then tomorrow at least. Okay. Uh, there was another... What? The, 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 there we go. Nice. Okay. Bullhorn. And there's one more. There. Right over there. Come, come. Nice. Holy bone! Uh, I forgot what... Kinda forgot what's over there, honestly. I don't think I ever got this far in the game. This is a cool cave. It kind of is a cool cave. It's kind of a dungeon. I mean, yeah, it's, I think it. I think it could be said it's a it's a dungeon of sorts. Welcome in, Makushojo baby. Hopefully you're doing well.
But yeah, this is uh, kind of a... Yeah, it's kind of... Kinda sort of far far into the far ish into the game. <laughs> Alright. Sla sla slash. Nice. I don't think I know what your uh wait. Is it Oh it's power slash, okay. I was about to say I don't think what your I don't think I know what your floor of finisher is, but it's power slash. I'm doing well, glad to hear that. You're close to the end now. <laughs> oh, Raven. Oh, dear Raven. <laughs> I am... I'm not gonna say nowhere near. I'm getting closer to the end, but it, it's it's not close. <laughs> it's not close. <laughs> I think I'm only like 10 hours into the game. I've been playing this game for about 10 hours, or at least the save file. I've been playing this save file for a, for about 10 hours, so... And the game is about... It takes me about 30 hours to beat it, so... So... I have at least 20 more hours of this game. <laughs> I always underestimate how long this game is. To be fair, it's very easy to underestimate how long this game is. Because they... Well, for reasons. <laughs> if I say why, I'll, uh, why I'm gonna spoil everything. <laughs> but for reasons. For reasons I will mention one once I uh, once I get to that point. Uh, now I think I'm supposed to go one more up before I enter this this level. I had this game on Wii, but I never finished it. Ooh! I heard on Wii that... Oh, wait. Where's the... Where the... Where's the key? Oh, wait, I... Ah, uh, okay. I think... Okay, I think I'm meant to go to the second level first. Never mind. I'm a dummy. But yeah, I heard on Wii that you had to fight with uh, with motion controls as well. I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> Luckily, you don't have to do that on Switch. On Switch, you only control the Celestial Brush with motion controls. I like that. <laughs> Fighting? No. <laughs> no, no. Nice. Oh. Alright. And this. Stray bead, nice. Don't remember it was so long ago. Mm, fair point. Fair point. I think Swedip I mentioned that she either had it on Wii or played it or Wii. Something along those lines. <laughs> and I think she mentioned the uh, fighting mechanics uh, using th the motion controls. I don't know how I feel about that, to be honest. <laughs> oh, come on. There we go. Nom. Nom nom nom. <laughs> Alright. I guess I'm supposed to go here first and fight this scroll. These scrolls are... these... Uh, what's it called? Uh, what are they called? Oh my god. These scrolls you are actually required to fight are kind of... I don't know. Miss... what's... what's... what's the word? <laughs> Miss something. <laughs> because scrolls are supposed to be optional, right? But this... Some of the scrolls are uh, require are required to fight. All right, num num num. Now I'm going to the third level. Num 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 num. All 
All right. And we are here at the top. I cannot do anything with that fiery chest. Welcome in, Milk Milk Porch. Hopefully you're doing well. And all the way to the top. All right. Now that's one big windmill. I saw it from down in the village, but I had no idea it was this big. Hey, what's that? It's swirling around in front of the big windmill. It almost looks like wind, but it's black and foreboding. It's as if the wind were being forced in the opposite direction. I wonder if that swirling evil air is what stopped the windmill. Maybe that's why the divine wind stopped blowing. If so, it must be the work of that crimson helm. I wonder how he how we could get rid of that evil air. Gee, I wonder. See? I knew that would bring the divine wind back. Okay, one more left. We gotta blow the rest of that evil air clear out of here. Uh this way. Hell yeah. All done! Now that the vine win wins back, I bet the big windmill will... Start spinning! <laughs> yes, yes, yes! <laughs> It's starting to spin! Look how strong the divine wind's blowing! Sure hope this drives away the evil down in Kusa village! Hmm? Now what? Welcome in, usual. Another another care care package. <laughs> Thank you for the stretch and hydrate. Let me do that right now. Welcome in. Hopefully, you're doing well. All right. Uh, let's see. I'm not sure if uh, this this one or another brush god is my favorite in this game. I think this this one is my favorite, actually. Ah, Amaterasu, origin of all that is good and mother to us all. For too long, I, Kazagami, god of wind, have walked a shadow path. At last, light shines upon me. Use my power to manipulate the wind. Banish those who would seek to shroud this world in darkness. I bet it was the divine wind that br that brought the wind god back. Now you can use Kazagami's Gale Storm brush technique. Just draw the mark of Kazagami to create wind. Let's try it out. Hey, that windmill looks like a good target. Draw the wind mark like you did on that swirling evil air. Let's try to make that windmill spin. So the camera did turn a little bit. It's gonna be this one. Yes. It always uh, kind of confuses me. I don't know if it's the swirling to the right or is it the front forward spiral. Ah, what a refreshing wind! And that door opened when the small windmill started spinning. This wind is nothing to sneeze at. You should try this brush technique on a variety of things. But this is no time for us to rest on our laurel laurels. 
the big windmill sending the divine wind down to the village, but that Crimson Helm still lurks somewhere in the Kale Shrine. And that serpent crystal Waka mentioned has piqued my interest. Let's turn this place upside down till we find both of them. Alright? Might be a bit quiet this stream since I thought of something to draw and in this case it feels appropriate. Ooh, nice! No worries, hopefully drawing goes well. Nice, Sun Fragment. Hey, nice, I got another solar energy, let's go. I got a heart container. <laughs> You're using the disc I, I used to use. Nice! Uh, honestly, I like how this uh, weapon looks like. It's just so pretty. I like how it uh, falls apart and, it, and then comes back together. <laughs> Gonna head off. Have a lovely stream. No worries, Go Godi. Thank you for stopping by. I appreciate it. And hopefully the rest of your day goes well. <laughs> hmm. Wait a sec. This treasure chest. I bet you could put the fire out without using water now. Indeed I could. Oh, speaking of which, there is something I could do with the water technique on Taka Pass. And in Agatha Forest as well. And I completely forgot about those. And I got a map of this place, which I don't really need. <laughs> but oh well. Oh, there we go. Uh, let's see. I don't think there's anything over here. No. Okay. Gorite Gora day. <laughs> is it is it a mistype or is it a typo or is it supposed to be a like close to goat goaty? Have a goated day, goaty. <laughs> You could say that, yeah. <laughs> An attempt at a pun. <laughs> it was a good attempt, to be fair. <laughs> but I think it would be it would be uh, better to say it was a uh, have a go to the day. <laughs> okay, there's nothing over here, is there? No. Okay. Brush tips, okay. What brush tips are you gonna give me now? Oh, I have a lot more tips that I need to... Well, I don't have to read them, but you know. Godhood tips, there we go. String attacks into combos to increase your level of godhood. Godhood creates a barrier that deflects enemy attacks. Running from battle like a coward or dying in water or a curse zone will result in your godhood being reduced to a skull symbol. This weakens you considerably and leaves you susceptible to attack. And also makes you, if you have a skull symbol, you take double the damage. It was a bad attempt, I ban you from puns for the rest of the year. It's okay, Pigments, we... Uh, our puns uh, keep getting better the more we use them, so I, I, I'm, you're not banned. <laughs> I don't... I'm not banning you from puns. <laughs> Drawing dots on enemies with a weapon capable of the ink bu <laughs> bullet. <laughs> I have no regrets. <laughs> uh, transform your ink into holy projectiles. Remember that the more dots you draw, the more ink is consumed. Hmm. I never use ink bullet, honestly. It's not that great. Brush tips. I will attempt to outline for you a series of brush tips. The brush is guided by divine hand. See the whole smoke that sometimes erupts from the brush tip. The different colors represent the, the element of the subjects involved. Holy smoke offers a vital clue and allows you to, to act on instinct. You can draw thicker lines than usual with X. This technique comes in handy when filling in large areas with ink. But that's not all, the size of objects drawn up affects their power. For example, smaller cherry bombs appear further away, while those drawn much larger appear closer. Drawing from above makes it easier to place from where you would like. 
Also, Gelsor's power is directly affected by the drawing's size. Worry not, as the size does not affect the amount of ink consumed. Careful use of celestial brush techniques based on the based on the circumstances is what separates experts from amateurs. Right, I did forget that uh, Gelstorm's uh, power is affected by the size of the drawing. By the size of the swirl, I should say. Did I hear an animal somewhere around here? Maybe at the top. But I do want this treasure chest first. Whoa! Check out those massive hanging scrolls! Looks like they're enjoying that wind you brought back to life. But be careful, it'll blow us away if it gets much stronger. Um. Nah, you're fine. <laughs> you're fine, Isun. Liv is our pun sensei. I. <laughs> I. I'll try. I'll try to keep my. Like, <laughs> I don't know how to say this. I'll try to be the best sensei you could ever possibly find. <laughs> Will the puns ever stop? <laughs> you need a bat! <laughs> Teach me your ways, live sensei. I... <laughs> I don't know if I can do that with milk. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm 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 a really bad teacher. <laughs> when it comes to uh when it comes to actually transferring my knowledge to other people, I'm really bad at it. <laughs> Only thing being bullied is our nose is stinky. Oh my god. <laughs> We love you, Raven. <laughs> I need a punk pigments command. <laughs> Should I make a bonk uh, chat command? <laughs> I probably should at some point. <laughs> Wooden bear, okay. Uh... Oh, I almost fell down. There we go. Nice. Ooh, exorcism slip. Okay. There's nothing. Oh, rats! Rats, rats! Okay, where's the... Okay, there we go. Let me save real fast and then I'll be on my merry way. Oh, there's more of this shrine. Great. Right. I think that's it from this shrine. I think we're at the boss room. Yeah, there we go. Hmm? You see that, Amy? It's some kind of crystal. Looks like a barrier or something. I bet it's the serpent crystal for dispelling Orochi's barrier. You know, the item that Waka guy was searching for. Sweet, we found it before he did. It, we did indeed. <laughs> A crimson helmet. Hey, it must be Crimson Helm, you don't say! <laughs> he really does look like one mean dude. Better psych yourself up for this one, Furball.
I am sorry if that <laughs> if that was audible. <laughs> what the heck? Aren't these the Satomi power orbs? They gonna protect us or something? I they sure will. And honestly, this fight is kind of a joke, not gonna lie. Okay. Okay, nice. Uh, okay, I'm honestly kinda a little bit scared to fight him with the uh, with this disc. But I'm gonna try, because I never did that. Oh boy! Okay. Nice. Okay. Slash. Slash. Oh boy. Okay. That was close. Shit. Okay. Okay. No, shit. No, 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 no. Shit. Okay. Soon. Come on. Hey, nice. There we go. Easy. <laughs> Easy. Although, if you have the string beads, this fight is even easier. <laughs> huh? Is he chickening out? After him, Amy! Quick! Back, you cur. I'll handle this one. Charge! What the heck's he doing? He's gonna get sliced and diced. Time for some brushwork, Amy. Yeah! Yeah! Roar! Take this! Take that! And that! And to top it off! Now for some wind! Yes, wind! More wind! Now you're talking! Wait, there's more! Behold, the secret technique, Wind of Wrath! Now I'm positive, this is not my doing. It's the gods, they toy with me! Will you never stop mocking me? You hear me up there? Are you happy now? Oh, why must I bear this burden of being Nagi's descendant? All I wish is to live in peace. Do you enjoy dogging my every step? You okay, Pops? Blast you, gods! I don't want your power! This whole world can fall to ruin as far as I'm concerned. Enough of these legends and Nagi's descendant stuff. Now, just leave me be! In a way he is right, yeah, in a way he is right. What the heck's that? Yikes! Go away! Huh? That voice. One after the other. You're driving me crazy! Stop it! I don't want to hear about that now! Go away! Leave me alone! Oh! 
school. What was that, Amy? Hey, new... What's it called? New weapon! <laughs> Let's go! Vine Instrument Life Beads Rosary that draws upon pure life energy to destroy evil. Evil. <laughs> Bonjour! Oh, am I interrupting something? Oh, brother. It's that half-baked prophet again. Hey, that's... That's... What, this? It's the Serpent Crystal, and it's mine at last. We got a lot of nerve muscling in on our goods like that. We found it first! It won't do you any good. I mean, I'm the only one who can dispel the barrier with it. You know, the barrier at the moon cave, Orochi's stronghold. Hmm? You calling me, big boy? <laughs> Keep your scales on, I'm coming. Hey, what's going on? Why are you going over to Orochi's place? <laughs> Oh, I almost forgot! Time for another prophecy! I foresee a rendezvous with a sweet little thing! Anyway, I must be off! Au revoir, baby! Now you wait a second! Dispel the barrier at the moon cave? What the heck's he up to? This is no time for your vi victory howl, furball! We gotta get out of here and get on with our mission, quick! Now ah, we got time! We got time for some side questing! <laughs> Never understood why he is French. I, honestly, I don't know. Uh, apparently, Japanese version, he's, he speaks uh, English. <laughs> so they made him French in, in the English version. But why, why French and not something else? I don't know. Why, my favorite wolf and little bug have safely returned. When the windmill at the shrine began spinning, I knew it was you. A most refreshing wind began to blow down into our village. You have defeated Crimson Helm and restored the divine wind. The Canaan warriors rejoice, but they are a handful as usual. I don't know how to thank you for all you have done. I, too, would like to give thanks to these heroic travelers. And Princess Fuse, last of the Satomi house, you have done well. What? You know Princess Fuse? Indeed I do, for I was her husband and the head priest of the shrine. My lingering fears about Kusa village kept my spirit here. But thanks to you, I can now travel to the great beyond. Princess Fusa and the Kanan warriors still have much to learn, but I have no doubt they will prosper. I shall watch over them. Farewell. I shall pray for your good health and prosperity. Welcome in, Gurabi. Hopefully you're doing well. What is it, you two? What were you looking at? Hmm? Oh, nothing. Anyway, Princess, there's no need to thank us. Just keep protecting the village as head priestess of the shrine. I know you'll have your hands full with those pesky canines. I have been rather feeble since the last head priest perished, but as head priestess I shall now dedicate my life to the shrine while keeping the remaining five canine warriors in line. That's the spirit! Nice. Heck yeah. Okay, I do have some things I want to do around the uh, Kusa village. Doing well, it's 12 a.m. and I'm still working on an assignment for work. Oh dear lord. <laughs> but I have Friday and my Monday off, so four day weekend. Nice. Good luck on the assignment. Hopefully you can finish it soon, soon enough and go to sleep. <laughs> I'm gonna use this time to go to Tokyo again. Nice! And yeah, enjoy your four-day weekend! So yeah, sounds like a lot of fun. <laughs> Let's 
Let's think about our next step before we scurry off. Was that shadowy creature with those heads really that monster? Our future's pretty bleak unless we do something about it. I mean, I'm too young to die. I'd like a chance to use all these brush techniques too. You didn't even so much as growl at that shadowy creature. You slayed that monster long ago, right? I bet your partner Nagi was the stronger of you too. Or maybe that legendary sake really packed a punch. Yeah, it must have been the sake. Amy, the legendary sake is back in that village, isn't it? And isn't it about time for that village's annual festival? Let's go see if we can get a taste of that special brew. Just might do us some good. Besides, a good festival is always fun. If I could get Sakuya a little tipsy, then maybe... Uh, no. Well, let's not. Let's not, Isun. <laughs> let's not. Okay, let's see. Uh, right, I don't think there's anything to do at uh, near the Gale Shrine. There is something to do down at Kusa Village, though. There's something to do here, yes, there is actually. Right? Go. And let's see here. All right. Four monkeys to feed. I'm getting low on seeds again. Ah, it's wonderful to feel a nice breeze blowing again. And I can't tell you how happy I was to see the windmill start up. Princess Fosse is amazing. Ousting that Crimson Helm brute like that. Now Kusa Village can sleep easy again at last. I wonder if I'll be able to spot that floating island in the sky. My grandpa said there's a land up there called the Celestial Plain. That's where all the great gods are supposed to live. I don't know though, it's all a bit far-fetched if you ask me. Hmm... Celestial Plain, you say? There is something like that. But look who we have here! Gaha! I am blockhead! I guard this place so that all shall pass! Oh wait, I mean none shall pass! Hey, haven't I seen you before? What are you talking about? I'm the one and only blockhead, and those who would claim otherwise are in for it. Are you trying to break through my airtight defense? Ha! Impossible! Nothing can harm this body of mine. Of course, there are those weak points of mine. A clean blow there would slay me in an instant. But I wouldn't be foolish enough to expose such a weakness. Now be on your way, none shall not pass. None shall not pass! <laughs> okay. Uh, I don't think this is gonna work. Oh, it worked! Nice! <laughs> Were my weak points so obvious? I have failed, but let it be known I died a warrior's death. First try, baby, let's go! <laughs> Uh, let's see. Bullhorn? Uh, not the wind. There we go. Freaking circle. <laughs> That's not gonna count because I did it too soon. Okay, it's a pretty view up from up here though. Like you can see the wait. I think I think this over here is uh Mr. Cutter's house. And you can see the guardian sapling over there. I think that's all you can see from up here really. Hold on. Yeah, that's all you can pretty much see. You can't even see the Sasa Sanctuary. Nice! Hey, 
And yeah, I'm glad you're doing well, Gurabi. I'm I'm glad the earthquake was was far from you, but I'm not I'm still not glad that it happened from for for all the other people that live in the area. I hope those people are doing all right. Like hmm. Earth earthquakes are really scary. Uh, let's see. Oh, burps! All right. Burp, 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 <laughs> chirp. All right. Uh, let's see. Oh, there is something else. Okay, hold on. Let's go here. Uh, this button. I really don't have a grasp, because here in Brazil we only have floods. Mm. Yeah, we did have an earthquake. When was it? I think it was like two years ago at this point. I don't remember exactly, but it was like a really big earthquake and it destroyed like a lot of houses in the area. Uh, probably all the houses in the area as well. It's It was nowhere near me, but I did feel it a little bit. But yeah, thankfully it was nowhere near me. And yeah, there's still the... I think they're still restoring uh, those houses. Or trying to restore the houses. Floods are scary as well, yeah. Basically any natural... all of the natural disa disasters are scary. Floods, earthquakes... Uh, what else is there? Oh my god. I'm blanking out. All of the natural disasters. <laughs> Thank you, Gerby. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're, we're safe, thankfully. Alright, let's see. Ooh, Sun Fragment, nice. Okay. I think I can jump down now. There's one more thing I want to do. Oh! Bonk. Over here, I think. Hello, little doggy! Guess what? The windmill's turning again! The flowers look so happy, sitting there in the breeze! Alright, I need to turn this windmill over here. Nice. I can't believe there are so many flowers! They look prettier than ever! I'm so happy! Happy, happy, happy! Hey, even more praise! Nice. I think that's all I needed to do in Kusa Village, so... I'm gonna... I think I'm gonna go back to... I'm gonna back to Kamiki village, but on the way back, I'm gonna... I'm gonna do the things I want to do in... Uh, in... what was it? Haka Pass and uh, Agatha Forest. Have you done the arc already? No, I am nowhere near the arc. <laughs> I am nowhere near the Ark. I'm still, uh, like, pre-first major boss fight. I only... I just uh, finished uh, Crimson Helm. When I was young, the Ark is what make, made me most confused on the story. Hmm. I, yeah, when I was young, I didn't really understand the story that much either, but I do now.
Okay. That. Oh! Dumplings! Nice. And let's turn that off. Or not turn that off, but like... How do you say that? Extinguish that! <laughs> let's extinguish that flame. Alright. That. Oh! Slash. Nice. Spirit globe and stray bead. There we go. Okay. Uh, that's what I wanted to do here. Now I will... Wait, 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 wait. There is so much more things I need to do. Oh, holy crap. I, I forgot about it completely. Okay, I will dig up this treasure as well. Right? And I will take a little three minute break. <laughs> Haven't done that in a while. But yeah, uh, I will make a little break and uh, meanwhile run some ads and play some music <laughs> some music but there's one one song in particular <laughs> or maybe i should uh, like nah i'll i'll play the break song <laughs> but yeah uh i'll be right back put switch to charge it's charging it's in the dock <laughs> it's charging already but yeah uh i'll see you right back
And I'm back! I'm glad you were productive, usual. <laughs> no worries about posting in the wrong channel. I, th there is a there is an art channel in the in the Discord. <laughs> but yeah, no worries. <laughs> it happens. It happens. And welcome back, Makushojo ba baby. <laughs> Uh right. What was I right? I was looking for leaf piles as well. Should be in the right place now. Hold on. <laughs> I'm intrigued. <laughs> I do like seeing uh, all the different art from different people. It makes me inspired to do more art. Oh, nice. Oh, <laughs> oh that, looks that looks cool. <laughs> it me. <laughs> it me. Ah, <laughs> oh, thank you, usual. I appreciate it. <laughs> looks really cool. <laughs> How long it, did it take you to to draw that? I really like the eyes. I like the yeah. I like I like the big cartoony eyes as well. And you nailed the little the little coat I used to have. <laughs> uh, wait. What was I right? Okay, I need to go this way. I keep forgetting where all the leaf piles are. Uh, do you... Okay, you want to play again. It's you, doggy. You're back. I'm stuck down here underground all the time. But just knowing you'll come to visit makes my heart sore. Well, isn't that special? Come on, then. Let's play. The monsters... The monster dust cloud formation. It doesn't matter... Doesn't matter who wins. I... Yes, it does matter, actually. Can I... Do a bomb. Yes, I can, actually. Nice. The game hasn't started yet. I'm gonna cheat a little bit because these guys are way too fast. Okay, there we go. Um, that, uh, never mind. That did not work. Oh, because the bomb was there. Okay, there we go. Then set down a timer, but last I checked was around 11 on my time zone. If chat timer is to be considered, so I wanted to say around two hours, roughly. Nice, Raven, 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 Raven. This is bullying. <laughs> this is bullying. I I quit this mini game. <laughs> you know what? Now now that you redeemed this, I don't want to do this mini game anymore. <laughs> Let me drink first. Let me mentally prepare. <laughs> okay, set the timer for five minutes, starting now. Okay, there we go. You already started. It can't back out now. Yes, I can. Watch me. <laughs> Watch me backing out. <laughs> On to the next round. I... No, I give up. I give up. <laughs> Watch me back out of this. <laughs> uh, I will do this, or at least attempt to do this. That didn't work. Um. Uh... Hey, that worked. Nice. <laughs> okay. Nice. Uh, let's see. Feed the pigs. I'm not stalling for for time, and you 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 can't prove me wrong. <laughs> Glad you liked the code. I only had stream as reference, so I kind of improvised around the leg part. Glad I could make the code look flowy, and I'm kind of proud of the fox legs. It's a simple but kind of neat silhouette. It is, yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's a ah, really neat silhouette. And yeah, the coat does look really flowy. It looks cool. Uh, let's see. No, 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 no. Oh, God. No one gets away with disrespecting the mall, says I was not disrespecting you at all. Uh, okay. Where are you? There you are. Okay. Air? Oh, that was close. That was close. Come on, blow up. All right. They are fast. Jesus. That was okay. Well, it kind of worked out. Not really. Uh, okay, where is he? There you are. Uh, like this, and then this. Come on! That that should have worked. That should have worked. Come on! <laughs> you can't do this to me, man. <laughs> Oh my good lord. Uh, let's see. No. Oh, there we go. Kind of reminds me of the wall from Puss in Boots in a way. It kind now that you mention it, kind of does. It it does have that vibe. A coat covering this humanoid animal hybrid. Granted, you know, not terrifying as him, of course. <laughs> it, now that you mention it, it does kind of have that vibe. Oh, uh, that was... Okay, that was the wrong course of action. I mean, I did draw a bomb, but, you know, it's... Uh, yeah, it, it wasn't the right placement. Uh... Right? Oh. Come on. Okay. Uh, that was not gonna be. Yeah, no. Uh, never mind. I give up on that one. Right? That didn't work. Oh, how long? Okay, uh, 35 minutes. Uh, 35 seconds, not minutes. If it was minutes, I would have died. Oh my god, okay. <laughs> 35 minutes, nope. Not happening. <laughs> not happening. Uh, okay. I, I don't think this is happening either. Nope. It's right there, though! Oh, there we go! Totally an accident, and timer is done. Okay, finally. <laughs> You're really amazing, doggy. You got such enthusiasm when you tackled me, like... Ta ta yeah, sure, I'm tackling you. <laughs> it's a real inspiration, you know. Thanks for playing with me. Here, have this thing I dug up. Nice. Yeah, I'm sure I'm tackling him. <laughs> tackling him with my bombs. More like I'm blowing him away. <laughs> Pun intended. <laughs> He's really blown away. Uh, I'll stop. I'll stop. Okay, this way. Uh, okay. Do excuse my rudeness, it's great to see you here, Miss Raven. <laughs> really enough, it was in one of your streams I thought of drawing live. Oh, nice! <laughs> I wish I could redeem the reverse controls again for that pun. That That's your punishment, Raven. <laughs> 
That's your punishment for for redeeming the reverse controls. <laughs> you gotta you gotta just face the consequences <laughs> of your actions. I like puns. I I'm glad someone appreciates the puns. <laughs> Thank you, Gurabi. See, Gurabi, a raven absolutely hates the puns. <laughs> So you know what we should do? We should just start talking in puns! That would be her greatest punishment! <laughs> uh, let's see... Oh, no! Okay! I do not want to fall down... Okay, nice. There we go. Wow, that is punny. <laughs> I am a punny person. <laughs> or rather, I've been told I'm a punny person. Okay. Mm Nothing over here except for some flowers and the deers that I already fed. But there, there is something over here. I'm pun doubtedly obsessed with puns. <laughs> same here, Grimby, same here. <laughs> I probably should have talked to this guy first. There! This is it! The treasure's revealed its hiding place. It wants to be found. Precious treasure, you want so much to meet me. While I would usually love the idea of talking in puns, I feel a bit mean doing so with Raven here, especially after such a nice interaction. I mean... <laughs> I mean, we're friends here, so... <laughs> She doesn't mind it that much. <laughs> she says she hates puns, but she doesn't mind it that much. <laughs> go back to see, see. Okay, so if we talk in puns, she's gonna go back to work. So you know, <laughs> win win. <laughs> Precious treasure lying hidden beneath me. I, the Great Bingo, will soon set you free. Expert Excavator Bingo. What do you want, Pooch? You, you like to dig as well, do you? I know, you could help me unearth the treasure. Dig for some treasure? Yes. That's the spirit, Pooch. Those claws of yours are destined to hunt out the treasure. Well, I suppose I should explain what I need and what I need you to do. The treasure is deep inside this hole. The pendulum shows where. I'm following the path that the pendulum is showing me. So if you could clear the way by digging, that would be perfect. When the pendulum swings wildly, that's where the treasure is. Then all you need to do is dig it up. What do you see? It's quite simple, don't you think? Yes, I got it. Well, I suppose we'll just have to see where your digging takes us. Let's get started, alright? Seems like Raven strays from the flock. <laughs> I'm a true bundle of joy! <laughs> Indeed you are, Gurabi. Indeed you are. <laughs> Her hate for puns is what feeds us, like a delicious panini! <laughs> I see what you did there! <laughs> okay, let me focus on this for a bit, because I am on a time limit. Okay. And this is one of the digging games that you can absolutely screw up. So, let's do that. Oh, wait, I didn't pick up the time. There we go. Uh, let's... Ooh, uh, let's lift him up. Up, I say. There we go. Okay. I probably didn't even have to do that, but oh well. Okay. 
on. Okay. Okay, I think I need to lift him up one more time. I'm adding you all on some some kind of list. <laughs> I ain't scared of your lists, Raven. <laughs> Do it. <laughs> Okay. Ooh. Oh boy. Nice. Go. Uh, I think I can l let him fall down here. Okay. That. Do this. Uh, do that. Uh, wait, did I? No, okay, I I thought I messed up for a second, I did not, good, <laughs> good, good, good. It's gonna be, yeah, nice. She's not as ravenous as us when it comes to puns. <laughs> good one. <laughs> the pundacity. <laughs> That was pun fortunate. <laughs> Can't believe I'm actually considering doing some real work only to escape from here. <laughs> I have zero regrets. <laughs> At last, the treasure. I've been searching for it for so long and now it's finally mine. But what is it? But what, what is it? I don't know what we've gone and dug up here, Pooch. Maybe there's something wrong with my pendulum. No, it looks like I just found something totally unexpected. It's you, your extraordinary gift for digging holes, Pooch. Any treasure hunter would be lucky to have you on side. That passion you have for digging holes is a pleasure to behold. Make sure you never lose that passion, won't you, Pooch? If you promise me that, you can have this piece of junk. And I won't give up either. I'll be forever hunting treasure. Maybe the treasure we found was the friend. Maybe the treasure we got was the friends we found along the way. <laughs> or something like that. I don't know. <laughs> the real treasure is the friends we found along the way. There we go. <laughs> that's that's the that's the saying. <laughs> Okay, I think I'm done here for the time being. So I can go back to Agatha Forest. I don't think I will join the festivities in Kamiki Village today, so we might do that next stream. Mrs. Liv, if memory serves me right, you act as a surrogate mother to Sweetie, right? Hmm. That's not really surrogate, adopted, adoptive mother, <laughs> adoptive mother. Does that mean you perform mom jokes or is that a dad only requirement? <laughs> I guess it could be, um, I guess I do perform mom jokes, <laughs> but she does enjoy mom jokes. Her father, on the other hand. <laughs> hey, um... Ah, hey Doc, welcome in! Uh, hopefully you're doing well and Happy New Year! <laughs> hopefully the the new year started off well for you and hopefully the rest of the year is gonna go well for you. With lots of good vibes and good friends and good food as well. <laughs> How are you, you know what, now that you mention it, it is a little bit ironic. <laughs> He's a father, he should like dad jokes. <laughs> but no, he hates them. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Bullhorn. No, no worries, Doc. Hopefully you're doing well. I appreciate you stopping by. Uh, oh god, oh god, please, please, get up, 
Can I not do- do I need double jump for- I probably need double jump for this. Okay, never mind. Low battery, again! <laughs> Hell yeah. Every time. Hopefully due to this contrast, Sweetie really doesn't turn so sour. Sh nah. Nah, I don't think so. <laughs> Love your PNG tuber, thank you! It's drawn by Sweetie Pie, one of my mods. <laughs> And she gifted she gifted it to me for my birthday as as a birthday gift. And it's very nice of her and I love it so much. <laughs> and I also have another version that I'm uh, that I'm using for all my other streams. This this version is only for Akami streams since since it's Akami themed. <laughs> oh, come on. Uh there we go. Nice. Hey. And she did make a proper VTuber model as well, but I unfortunately I can't run the program on my laptop while streaming, so... We have this! <laughs> but it's, it's, uh, it's great as well. We might even be in for a storm. Ooh. Wait. Did I...? Okay. Okay, so I might partake in some Kam Kamiki Village festivals. Not really. You'll you'll see what I mean when I say not really. Oh wait. I care a Kami PNG. Thank you. <laughs> glad you like it. I'm glad everyone likes it. Sweetie Pie did an amazing job with it. It is rather curious. From what I heard, foxes and wolves don't... Wait, hold on. Oh, come on. Jump down. There we go. Don't have the best of existences with each other. Hmm. Makes sense. I've heard something about that. <laughs> I don't exactly know to know the full story behind that. <laughs> That's what they call a full moon. Come to think of it, doesn't the Kamiki festival fall on a full moon this time of year? Oh no, they're gonna finish off all the sake if we don't hurry. Come on, Amy, get the lead out. Let's go to the festival. The festival with very ominous music. Couldn't either, it's what I heard, but I also never inspected it further. Yeah, same. I should probably inspect it further. I'm curious now. <laughs> hey, what's everyone doing in front of Susano's place? You come out here this instant, Susano. You have some explaining to do. How could you have drunk the sacred sake meant for Konohana? Huh? Susano did what? You can come out, Susano. We're not mad at you. You must have had some reason to drink up the eight purification sake. Uh-oh, this is bad. Why would you drink all the eight purification sake, Pops? I don't care if it's so special. I couldn't help myself. I just had to have a drink. Well, it wasn't any old sake, and this isn't any old festival. It's been exactly 100 years since Nagin Churanui's great victory. We've even been blessed by a glorious full moon. How could you have done such a despicable thing? Leave me alone. I don't care about Nagi and his fleabag friend. I'm Susano, the greatest warrior who ever lived. There isn't a drop of 8 purification sake left? Susan was acting like a madman when he returned to the village. He drank all the sacred sake and then holed up in his house. All the sacred sake Kushi brewed is gone. Why did he have to go and do that? This is terrible! I mean, 8 purification sake is what saved the day in that legend. The timing couldn't be worse, with the return of Orochi and all. 
The dreaded Orochi. It's all my fault. I'm to blame for all your misfortunes. That's right, you fool! Do you realize what a fix we're in now without any sacred sake? It was I who committed that unspeakable act at the moon cave. It was I who brought Orochi back to life. I have brought utter destruction upon the world. Huh? What is that fool talking about? I was sick of hearing about how I'm a descendant of Nagi. I wanted to prove it was all a lie by removing the sword Tsukuyomi. But the legend was true, and I've unleashed an unspeakable evil. And the curse consumed all of Nippon. This is madness! You removed the sacred sword that imprisoned the dreaded Orochi? I fled to the village out of fear. Then I blocked its entrance with a boulder and hid underground. After that, I tried fleeing here and there. But the gods would not leave me be. Ever they stared down at me. They let it be known that I'd never be forgiven. At least, not until I slew the dreaded Orochi. I know that Tsukuyomi was removed and the moon cave vanished. But if what Susana said is true, that would mean... Orochi's right of sacrifice. On the eve of the full moon, the eight-headed serpent shall appear, and the accursed arrow shall mark the home of the chosen maiden. It is exactly as the legend tells. If we don't offer the chosen maiden as a sacrifice, our entire village will be wiped off the face of the earth. Susano, you're no coward. If the gods tell you to fight, you're the only one who can. You can do it. After all, you saved me, didn't you? I know you can do it. I know you'll come. Wait, Kushi, you're not going to... No hesitance, she sensed danger and ran straight for it. Badass wolf goddess, indeed. Respect. Behold, my thunder brew. The great Nagi intoxicated Orochi and defeated him. My sake is my life. Surely it can intoxicate even Orochi. Hey, Kushi, wait! She's not going to take on Orochi herself, is she? No, Kushi, wait!
And I am actually going to end the stream right here. I'm sorry to end it on a cliffhanger, but I have to. <laughs> kind of, sort of. But yeah. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> Truly a TV show experience. They always end it on a, on a cliffhanger. <laughs> but yeah, thank you everyone for coming by to the stream. I really appreciate it. And I do have someone we can raid. Uh, hold on. Let me get my light. <laughs> no! Uh, to be to be fair, I don't know when when's the next time uh, I'm gonna stream Okami. I I seem to be streaming it like really randomly when I feel like it. So <laughs> who knows? It might be it might be again this week. It might be next week. It might be in two three weeks. No one knows. <laughs> the cliff ah, cliffhanger stays here anyway. <laughs> but yeah. Love your streams, hope to see more of that. Nice! Oh, I'm glad to hear that. I'm glad you're enjoying the streams. <laughs> Thanks for the stream, I hope I was a go of good presence and the drawing was pleasant. It was! Uh, good pres- very good presence and the very pleasant drawing. Thank you, usual. <laughs> I appreciate it. I appreciate everyone's company. Go get some rest. Yes, Raven, you get some rest when you can as well, after the work. Hopefully, work is going well. Thanks for the amazingly and punny stream. <laughs> hope you have an pun amazing week. Hope you have a hope you have an amazing week and a four day weekend as well, Grubby. <laughs> Hopefully, everyone has a great rest of the week. Uh, I'm gonna be streaming. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna stream tomorrow. I probably will. It's not in my schedule, but I might be able to stream some art tomorrow. Because I was supposed to stream some art to the, today. But I, first of all, I forgot that I scheduled a stream for today. And second, I forgot to charge up my phone. So, yeah, <laughs> there we go. <laughs> my week has just been ruined by those puns. <laughs> Ain't that a pun shame? <laughs> that wasn't even a pun, I'm sorry. <laughs> that was bad, I, I deserve to be hated for this one. <laughs> but yeah, hopefully everyone has a great- oh wait, let me actually set up a raid. Uh, let's see. We're gonna raid Iris LaBerb, she's playing a Stardew Valley, right, and she's doing a JoJo run. Okay, there we go. And I indeed have some raid messages for you. Okay, if you're subbed, you can use the second raid message. If not, the first raid the first raid message is the one for you. But yeah, uh, thank you everyone so much for coming. And until next time, take care, everyone. <laughs>